So today we're gonna to be putting a whole new carbon fiber body on our Nissan Z, and this is what $30,000 of carbon looks like. Put a whole new body on the Nissan Z, which is awesome. Pierre, don't mind us. <laughs> it's like, well, stay out of the shot. But yeah, it's it's rad, you know, we got awesome partners like Save On Carbon and Street Hunter, which provide us with these amazing parts, front to back. I've been working with Save On since 2004, and we're adding some extra pieces to the car this year. We got a little Save On lip kit, which they came out with later in the year last year. Same kit that we run on our Street Z, which is radical. Then we're gonna be applying that to the race car, giving it a little more aggressive look, because I thought it was a little, Tame last year, you know, just with the stock body, but you know, just a lack of parts, right? Yeah, just start off the year fresh, you know, so another round of the hood, doors, hatch, things like that, they get kind of banged up and cracked up. We're gonna run that save on spoiler, which is a nice little duckbill setup that I really like on there. The car is, as we we're saying, just very much ready to go mechanically. Now we just gotta put the dress on her. So uh, we got Pierre and Jackson have been uh, building us out some lightweight brackets for the fenders so that we actually can remove some of these steel brackets and actually remove the steel stock fender that was underneath because the Street Hunter fenders, just like most aftermarket fenders now, they're caps, right? So it's just a fender cap that you have to still utilize your factory fender in place with all the mounting brackets and tabs. So we're making them out of aluminum, removing that whole sheet metal um, piece underneath, which is gonna save us a lot of weight. It's like almost 20 pounds between the left and the right side off the front end, which is where we're trying to get all the weight off. So uh, one of the most important places to remove weight from the car. So they're putting a little extra effort in, but it's gonna be awesome to have these pieces and then it will be just that much better when it all goes together. And then we can, you know, utilize these on future builds, so. Win win. What you got there, Chris? You know what we got, dude. What you got That's there, Chris? Got. Oh, it's my favorite. Brand new carbon fiber. <laughs> um, carbon fiber. Car's on fire. Carbon fiber. Carbon fiber. So, no, this is, uh, yeah, we've been, we've been ripping with Savon, one of the OGs. But, um, you know, Savon makes just so much uh, good stuff for us. Like, not only like for the race car, but those. Uh, Trying to be nice to the plastic. No, I mean, not just like these, these pieces, but the Frontier, like the whole wide body and the uh, the hood and everything. They built all that for us custom project that we did a couple years ago, and now it's available to the public. So it's really rad. And we've been doing the same stuff with them on other builds and other chassis. When we're able to uh, get our hands on the components, we get them to them, and then they will replicate them in carbon fiber. And then we have our new carbon fiber stuff. Ooh. Yeah. Got this piece. We have oh. many other pieces. A whole lot more. As you can see, a few. Other give them the van a white. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Check it out. Yeah. Don't forget the shelf behind you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Like the top. Oh, this is how you put a drift car body on, you just hold it. <clears throat> no, it looks, it looks like it has a body. Ready for Long four, Beach. Four arms holding it, and then one, two more arms making brackets. Yeah. I oh, know, hanging the front end is like the worst. Well, I think we need to mount the headlight first. So, so. Uh, I'm putting on a really beat up side skirt back onto this car. Why, you might ask. It's a good question. Now, we're using it for basically like a mock up panel. So, we're getting ready to put the new body on the pro car. Obviously, you guys have seen we tested it, we put it on the dyno, we're going through all that stuff. So, now it's time to make it pretty again. Not that it's not pretty stripped down, but it could look better with a new body. So, making some different fender brackets for it for this year. Previously, we were running a steel fender underneath our Street Hunter. Look at this guest we have here, too. Nice butt. So in an effort to shave a little bit more weight off, we're gonna make some aluminum brackets 
get rid of that steel fender and try to make it something that's uh, easy to replicate and easy to replace at the track or like while we're on the road. Cause obviously once this car leaves, it doesn't come back to us until like after Seattle. So it does like five rounds before it comes back to the shop. So it's gotta be something we can make easily. We're just throwing on the skirts. I'm gonna put the hood on and uh, Pierre and I are gonna kind of work through making some brackets and fitting up things to make sure all of our body lines are matching up and we'll go from there. 90 degrees, brother. Brother. 90 or oh, more? Put a comment for more. <laughs> Pierre, you don't want me telling you. Who's that, bro? Ow. That's Jackson. Yeah, but I'm gonna make cool things. You're gonna make cool things? Yeah. Pierre, you always make cool things. What do you think? I think that looks cool. That's sick. <laughs> oh, this is good for your video, brother. Brother. Look, oh, this is um, twisting. Flexible? Yeah. So we want to keep a kind of flexibility because if it's crashing, you can bring it back, but uh, it's too much. So what I'm gonna go, I'm gonna drill and put some dimple dice, called dimple dice. I mean, uh, put in the press and you're gonna see after it's not gonna make this anymore. So remember, I told you I'm gonna make some deeper dye and this is it. And now it's unbeatable. This is... This, this is This is not... This is not oh, If you buy 10 of them, I give you one free. <laughs> you need help there, brother? Pierre! Help! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Oh yeah, make sure when you tighten your hoods down, you tighten it until you hear it cracking. Jackson, every time you say these tips, I get so nervous because there is going to be some kid out there that is like, Oh yeah, Forsberg channel said, and then... Go until you hear a little <laughs> tiny crack and then give it two more turns. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, terribly alarmed currently. Oh, no, we're good. Oh. We're gonna miss the pins though. What are we hitting? Oh, fuck. <laughs> the dump. <laughs> <laughs> Super close. Ah. All right, hood fits. All right, continuing on with last year's body panels. So, word just came down. One benefit of it, we don't have to be gentle with the old stuff. So. And plus, you already know it fits 100%. And I you know it fits 100%. <laughs> Ta-da, bumper installed. Move it. Just, yeah. Yeah. Adjust. We thought adjust that too, because like, if we make it too stiff, then it's yeah. like, you won't if it bends, then it's bent. Like, yeah, exactly. Like, it's not going to bend unless it gets hit. And if it gets hit, a plate here is going to bend too. Yeah, exactly. And then you're not going to be able to bend it back. Unless we hit it with a Mustang the other way. <laughs> Tell me. He didn't just say that. Hey, I mean. <laughs> or if the metal bends. I'm just calling it how it is. I'm just reporting news, dude. I don't know. Matt Field really started to try and crank those numbers up. <laughs> it's a domestic. Dude. It's a domestic. Domestic camp. violence. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Ah. All right, on that note, I'm forgetting. That was kind of tough. Not <laughs> <laughs> top of that one off. <laughs> we have to follow the line with the quarter inch in oh, to leave the room for the, the fender. And here it's perfectly flush, brother. Uh, brother. Do you like it? I love it. I always like the work you do. Wow. Thank you, brother. Brother. So how, how come the dimple stuff makes it stronger? It's probably, again, it's probably stupid questions. Makes but it three-dimensional. Wait, we're not in 3D? Three no. Time, right? We're in 5D, brother. <laughs> A flat piece of uh, material. It's very flexible, right? But um, when you put these dimples into it, not only is it less weight, but it also gives a 3D effect, so it actually strengthens it by adding that um, that extra thickness. It doesn't look like you're adding thickness, but pressing that angle into it does. Bolton doors on. One of my favorites. Yeah, it's one of the most satisfying ones. <laughs> it's like, oh, really hard. I'm like, here we go. So they make these so that they can go literally in a stock. Yeah. Like, this is stock door card yeah. stuff. Yeah. That's cool. You can pop that right in. Put your power windows back in. That's cool. Sick. 
Oh, that's it? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Dude. Super satisfying, bolts right on. We still gotta put the handle on. And then we go in and we cut uh, the excess out, but for all the test fitting purposes, we keep them together because it's more sturdy. Uh, it gives us straighter edges. Uh, Cause they do get a little flimsy once we trim them out. Lining up with the rest of our bent ass pretty well. So I don't know what that means exactly, but. Hey, it means we didn't get hit enough. Not enough Mustangs. Ben Hobson! <laughs> <laughs> from the top row! Expect a text from Vaughn now. <laughs> yeah, it's somewhere I'll get the headlight and then... Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. That's where the fender goes. Today, on today's episode, we're making new bracket for the bumper support. First thing, this bolt was in here. Which makes like this thing going up, which is no good. And second thing, this is way too small. So we're just making like a bigger structure. And you can tell the bolt is gonna be inside of the group, so it's gonna be close to the bolt. Yeah, that is sick, dude. Oh, I got too close. There we go. That is sick. Like, yeah. Yeah, brother. Brother. Ready to weld. And no. You can. I have fiberglass in my eyeballs. And it's drilled inside, so it's very light too, brother. Brother. Everybody, leave a comment on Pierre's welds. But it's all look terrible. No, one actually, someone told him they were like, "No, they look amazing." I'm like, "See, he thought he was all negative, and he actually got positive comments." Saw that. What you do with the other? Say right something, place? French. We. Oui. Vlad, of course. Dang, it's cool that you can mount your uh, factory. Yeah, what do you want? Uh, come here. Hold on. I'm doing important things right now, okay? No, so we showed you that it has all that cool stuff so you can mount your like door guard and factory window regulators, which is sweet. When you have them. When you need them and you have them, but obviously we don't. So I'm just going through and I basically just cut out the whole inner structure. I left like the edge right here to give it a spine and like retain some of the strength so we don't lose any strength, but kind of shave some weight wherever we can get it. So we just dropped out that unnecessary piece and it gives us clearance for the door bars because they actually come out into the doors. I'm gonna, and I got to fit obviously our striker, our handle, and we have a latch system that utilizes an Alaria Tech little pull tab that I'll transfer over from last year's doors to these doors. And then, uh, get these on and hopefully I don't have to take them off for a while. Well, it looks sick though. Like it's all coming together. Yeah, little by little. You so hit these, it with some stillet. I think we showed you when I was cutting these. And so I had to like sand it down and so it showed some of the bare carbon and like fiberglass and resin and stuff that they put in the inside of these. So I just took a quick coat of steel to make it all look uniform again. Watch it, watch it. Wow. Nisa, Nisa, Nisa. Thanks for all of your support. We got all the new merch going up on shopforsburgracing.com. So make sure to head over there and get your new droop. This one, one of my personal favorites, 20 years of the force. It's got a little Star Wars hit right there too. The 64, the Rebels, the freaking, my first car, my recent, my most recent car. My, 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 my most, my most recent car. <laughs> but yeah, we got them both on there. It's a sick one. You also got other sick ones. I also got other sick ones. There's plenty of sick ones. And we got other sick things in these boxes. Let's rip these boxes open. I don't know what's in each box yet because these are newsy parts. So now you can usually see the box and tell what's what's in there. So this one, maybe a grill? No? Yeah? No? Maybe? Yeah, I think this is a grill. Yeah. Oh, yeah. there's two pieces. Yeah. Right. yeah. Oh, that's a nice. Hey, look at that. Glossy. Why do you need a new grill, Chris? Why do you need a different style new grill, Chris? No reason <laughs> at all. Don't even worry about it. That looks exactly like our old grill. Ooh. Uh. <laughs> Does that grill cost as much as the bumper that goes around it? That's insane. Wow. <laughs> Practical. Uh. So if you're gonna hit anything, hit it in the corners. <laughs> <laughs> we usually don't hit things right in the middle, unless it's a cone sometimes, yeah. but that's pretty we resilient. Cone in the chain, you know, it happens. These are looking like the uh, A pillars. You know, at the end of a FD event, uh, and or beginning and or between, uh, sometimes people, when they go pushing on the cars, they lean right here <laughs> when they push on them. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, Who's like, hand? Why does your hand fit it's not, perfect? It wasn't mine. Yeah, like, 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 here's I here's where. Yeah. I don't know, Chris. Jackson's hand fits pretty perfect in there. Yeah. Well, oh. no, I, I remember who did that one. Mm. Starts with a J, rhymes with Schmimmy. <laughs> <laughs> but it's cool. I mean, I've broke, I've broken them before. Like, anytime we ask for help, it's the first place they push, and it breaks. I do like this gloss black. I know. This is noise. Ooh. Big bumper coming out. Now I got, I got some good stuff here. Fresh rear bumper for Long Beach. <laughs> You're gonna live a long life, buddy. <laughs> He's like, oh boy, I get to go make a car look brand new. This is gonna be great. I just can't wait. <laughs> We're gonna go really fast for three corners. <laughs> we actually had a pretty ripping record going. On the 370, I don't think I lost the rear bumper for like, uh, like eight or nine events, Dang. but we were like burning holes through them. Yeah. We had them mounted up real good, so I mean, just rubbing and flexing, not smoking them. I hate losing the rear bumper; it makes me nuts. In Orlando, and then we lost the one when Chelsea punted it over state lines back to Missouri last year. Yeah, well, that's yeah. what I'm saying. We didn't have the same tie-in. The reason why we did lose rear bumpers <laughs> like two or three times the past two years, okay, maybe. crazy, uh, is because the taillight centerpiece is in the rear bumper and then the tail lights snap into the centerpiece it all kind of ties together so like once you start hitting the corner it just like blows the whole thing off jackson had a good idea on how to uh make it so that come a little maraca <laughs> <laughs> how to make it so that we can um tie it all together so the bumper is separate from the tail lights and so when we're pushing in the corners it's not like popping all the mounts off yeah blowing so, everything off yeah what's the limit of like damage that you'll like you personally because i know it's subjective i know some people will run like their thing damaged all year but yeah. what's your limit just depends on how it looks like i was saying if it was like when we have those like rope rails and if we're just like kind of run like burning little holes like you know from running the walls here like I let it ride because it looks cool, it's appropriate. But if we like, you know, knock it off and it's all twisted and looking crappy uh, for whatever reason, or we like actually like, get into the corner and like, you know, like crunch it in, like basically like it's plastic, right? So they invert and then they get, um, they never really get the shape back. You can heat them up and try and, you know, push these creases all back out, but they just get all, you know, manipulated. That's when we would swap them. If we kind of got into the wall a little too hard, a little too many times. These guys, it's, it's nice using the factory Yay! Nissan components because you get all these factory mounts. Everything's fine. Seal toe shoes. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Liz. But yeah, so they've just fit really, really well. So we've been rocking the Nissan panels. God, Forever. since like, it's yeah, nice like they're I think, I think I went back to Nissan panels like once they went to the, uh, the Nismo kit on the 350. So I was like, what, 2007? Six? Eight? Uh, seven, yeah. Seven, I ran an Origin kit, and I think eight, we put the Nismo kit on. I've been running Nismo parts ever since. Dang, so Origin kit, it. dude. Like even throw yeah. Throwback. Throwback. Remember that? On a cone yeah. and a fiberglass kit. That's why our stuff stays on the car, because it's like factory components, and it's like a, it's a lightweight plastic, but it's durable. It's not just fiberglass, it just breaks in half, so. Yeah. Last. Sick. That's backwards, you know uh, what that means. You know it's time, brother. Brother. Hey, that's weight. It's a lot more than I thought it was. I'll take it. Six, oh my gosh. I'm gonna see how much bond does left on this top side. I was gonna say. It's like, you can actually definitely feel the difference with. Oh yeah, Bondo and Bondo. get the scale out. <laughs> they skinned it when we put the corner in at Long Beach last year. And it wasn't so bad, but it did like put a couple ripples in this part, which is why we're doing what we're doing. Street Hunter kit does not cover the whole quarter panel but I have this uh, carbon piece that I'm gonna cut to build this triangle out. But we left this part of the quarter just to give a little more strength for where the spine is gonna be of the two fenders meeting each other. So it doesn't do that. So instead of cutting it here, because we're gonna have a carbon carbon flange right here, we left this piece of metal. 
but I'm just gonna take all the Bondo off of it so that the carbon just kind of lays over and it's more of like a finishing piece. Okay, just trying to reshape the little tip of it. Just going off of eye off the other one and then we'll start fitting that panel in. I'm just trying to get this angle and this angle. A little trapezoid better. Because this was the side that uh, Sorensen hit us last year. Or no, we hit Sorensen, yeah, he was spun out in the corner two years ago. The, literally like the third run of this car. Yeah, it was like, that was Long Beach, right? Yeah, it was like the third lap we ever did in the car. Come around the corner, and yeah, Brandon was like spun in the uh, middle of turn two. It got the quick fix, like Kings did a good job. They came in, they skinned it, they made it look all brand new again. But since we have the time, just kinda wanna get you know, some of this. Just a little closer before I fit that carbon panel. Get that guy in that corner. Happy on that corner. On the corner of happy and healthy. Yeah. I just wanted to get a rough idea of like, that's where the flange is. Yeah. And there's a one inch buffer. I'm gonna go like this for my first cut. Something like that. Mm -hmm. Top side of that. Yeah, I need to double check. Oh yeah, that, that's the bottom of the handle. Oh. It did, it did, it did a thing. We're gonna need some bondo for those two. Oh, yeah. Is it opening it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah? I don't wanna get too much. Ow! Oh, oh. big one. <laughs> big one. <laughs> that looks better. That's pretty shit, pretty dang close. That's a lot better. Just gonna straighten out that curly fry on the side of the... I am not a sheet metal person. Big wiring so, guy, big yep, sheet metal guy. Yep. You got it all, dude. Got it all figured out, dude. <laughs> Yeah, just a few more finishing pieces. We got all that Bondo off the rear quarter. I got that corner straightened out the way I like it. Took some of that metal off and yeah, we're just gonna finish capping off those rear quarter panels with those little pieces of carbon. So what I'm doing is utilizing another quarter panel, another fender, another piece of carbon instead of just a flat sheet because it's gonna give it a little bit of that shape. So starting with that, I'm gonna trim that in. I'm gonna take my time, get it nice and right. And then we're waiting for our bash bar components to come in from Rob who's cutting them out for us. So once we get that, Lop off the old back end, weld that on, and then we can hang the rear bumper, the taillights, and everything else. So, finish it off nicely. But yeah, thanks for watching.